Okay, so baby Yui got home, John Fazio, last night about 9.30, went into the bathroom. I have that footage on here because I'm filming, as you can see, out to the kitchen. There's the kitchen, one of the kitchen chairs. There's the bathroom door, which is closed. Oh, in the video, this is not live, I'm sorry. But as you can see, it's closed here. And um, he got home, and it was quiet pretty fairly quiet. He, he, he pounced around like Tigger from Winnie the Pooh for a little bit and then he went to bed and then about 10 of uh, 12 he kicked my fucking wall as loud as he could. Got up and took a shower. Slamming the microwave lids uh, door in between all this. He ate twice. Slam! So um, I threatened to call the cops. They quieted down. Got some sleep. Woke up 10.30 this morning and this... This is what I want to show you. I, you might not be able to hear it, but you can guess what's going on. I mean, come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm going to have to fast forward a little because I don't want to run out of film on my phone. Let me see here. Where are we at? On the timeline scale here. Nope, still not there. Nope. Oh, there we go. Now it's open. You can see the toilet. And no, I don't film people while they're crapping or paying. Here we go. So this is them arguing this morning. There's Homer Simpson, the real life non-cartoon Homer Simpson arguing with well he looked like uh, Simon and Garfunkel last night but he got a haircut Stephen so he cut his bush I guess sometime today he went to the barber but uh John has fled the scene this morning and it sounded like he cleaned out all the paraphernalia and baseball bat from his room and took it somewhere I don't know if he put it downstairs in the garbage or took it elsewhere I don't know now this is over the bathroom door because Stephen's asked him four times can you please leave it open because we don't have a window in there or a vent, an exhaust vent and it stinks, it smells like mold, piss and everything imaginable because John doesn't clean, he pisses on the floor and he doesn't care St look, Stephen's the one that's cleaning up he's the only one that cleans here and uh, the man just told it, he called him a jerk off and fuck you, open the door yourself and but it's us. It must be me doing stuff to him. Because now he's doing he's same thing, same behaviors. Knocking on his door 17 times in five minutes. Playing head games. He just cussed him out for it. He said, stay the hell away from my door. And leave the freaking door open. I told you enough. And John basically said, F you. Shut it or open it yourself. I've lived here for two years. It doesn't matter how long you lived here. Common courtesy and, and uh, respect is earned. You don't give none, you ain't getting none. So Stephen just said, I'm going in to take a crap before you get a shower. So, <laughs> so that's what Stephen did. And I don't think even John took a shower at this point. He just washed up and out the door he went. But he made sure he cleaned up his room because I kept saying the whole time this was going on, and this is only part of the fight. I don't know if you can see the movie. It's about 50 minutes into it. So I, I record an hour-long segments. This was the end of the fight. Uh, they argued for about 20 minutes. Off and on, John kept coming out of his room and playing head games and bitching. And I've been here for two years. I don't care how long you've been here. Doesn't give you a right to shit on the floor and leave it there. But uh, probation keeps saying, oh, well, he's saying I play games with him. I, I wasn't even in it this morning. He's attacking the new guy. I guess it's my fault, right? Oh, I know. It's Steven's fault. Jails are packed. I get it. Can't do nothing with him. Get the fuck out of here.